finally a bit of good news. So I have a replacement bumper. I think the color matches a little bit off, but the lower grill section of it is fitted and that works. Just a case of uh, a couple of scuffs like that. I think there's some more, uh, this, so there you go. They need to get cleaned out, buffed up, whatever they need to do, um, and then get painted. Uh, unfortunately, when the bumper arrived, it was bent like a pretzel, which has created this bend in the middle, which hopefully can be rectified without causing any issues. I fitted the lower grill to it so it didn't um, flex. But hopefully, with um, that, that piece and that piece together, and the lower splitter fitted on, You'll never know it was uh, never know it was done. The other thing I'm going to get done is I've got the fog lamp covers and the lower front grille and also the Parkinson's that he painted. I'm going to do these in a gloss black, so look like a nice piano black when it gets all fitted up together. They look a bit better than the uh, the plastic. So this is the bumper grill badge, which goes to the vehicle like this. It was gray. And uh, when I tried taking the old badge off, because it was double-sided tape to here, I really, really struggled. And I prized against it, didn't this, and then ended up painting it gloss black. So the whole grill section is now gloss black. But the finishing piece for this is a, a center badge. This is the second one I've ordered. <coughs> and the first one arrived a little bit bigger without the pins. So it's got a sticky back, and then you put these nuts onto here, which basically cuts the thread. That's uh, the next piece to go onto here. Right, here we go then. Bumper install, take two. I have the correct bumper here. It's been painted and it's ready to go onto the car. A couple of issues. I moved the car forward quite close to uh, the car here. The battery is now dead. I can't get the electric handbrake off to roll it back. And um, that's a bit of a pain. Second issue, sunlight, I've lost it. Um, the camera settings are much brighter on here than they are in real life. Third issue, it's bloody freezing. So I've got a torch, or a big light, I'm gonna try and plug in. Hopefully get this sorted. I'm gonna take the splitter off the bumper, to, to attach to the bumper. I fitted the bumper grills up earlier and um, once they're fitted, that can go on. They can be bolted on. The inner arch liners can be fitted on. I've got a lot to do. It's very cold, it's only gonna get colder. So let's get cracking. <laughs>
Right, what a blag this has been. It's now coming to 10 o'clock and uh, I think, I think I'm done. Let me show you where I'm at. A couple of, no, there is a couple more things to do. I am aware of that, but I'll show you now. So here we have it. The bumper is on. I've got to do these vents, this cover, this cover. I thought I'd make sure you're aware of what we're doing. So a towing eye cover goes in like so. The little tab. However, you grab the nozzle, <coughs> frozen solid. Uh, that's not going to plan, is it? So cold out here. Everything is freezing, as you can uh, as you can see. Um, battery has been on charge for a couple of hours now. Hopefully, that's going to have enough juice to start it. The wheel axes are done. Wings, bumper, splitter, fog lamps, front grill, lower grill. Everything is done. Just now, going to get it started. Hopefully, get it running. Hopefully, free this up because this seems to be a bit frozen. And. Uh, Get the cover on. See if it will start. Right, it is 10.30 in the evening and uh, I'm finished. So one, two little jobs still to do, but never here nor there. And there we are. Bumper's done, grill's done. I'm very, very happy. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this looks like in the in the daylight. Bit of a uh, minefield with regards to the wiring and such like. The washer jet is 
stuck in and I can't get it out for some reason. And uh, I need to try and get the cover on there. But overall, it looks very good. Um, yeah, the Cougar is back on the road. I'm waiting for a number plate, it should be here tomorrow. Uh, I've also ordered some LED lights for the mirrors um, because of the key. If I turn the uh, lights on, you see this a little bit yellow. I've got LEDs on the front, I've got LEDs on the back, but the sides look a bit rubbish. Um, but indicators are working, um, the daytime running lights are working. I have got a headlight fault on the dashboard, which is because this is a standard headlight and not a self-adjusting Xenon projection doodle. Um, but overall, it's been a very successful money-saving exercise and uh, car saving exercise as such because the insurance company were just going to destroy it. So, time for me to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I've actually really enjoyed doing this even though there's been a few uh, trials and tribulations. There will be more videos coming on this car very soon but the bumper's on and it's time to go inside. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, and if you haven't done so already, please consider becoming a subscriber to the channel. Until next time, from me and the Cougar, 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 we'll see you again.